Hi, I'm Turquoise Blue. Welcome to my channel where I discuss saving money, decision making, and expressing creativity. Today, I am doing my final two deposits on both my 52 weeks and my Foxy's 5K challenges. So let's start with the 52 week savings challenge. This is the challenge where I did the standard 52 week savings challenge, but I did it in um, double amounts. This challenge currently has $2,550 and I'm making my last two deposits in the amounts of $102 and $104. There should be $2,550 here. These are the two $1,000 placeholders and this money is in the bank and let's see 100 200 300 400 500 20 40 50 and today I'm adding two hundred and six dollars this is five hundred twenty 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, so that's 200, and then this is 50, and I need $6. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, I'm getting too happy here. This is two thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars. <laughs> Let me mark these off. And I have completed the challenge and I have saved. $2,756. I know you all like, why does she keep saying it over and over again? But I am so happy. So happy. Like I said before, I have plans, big plans for this money. So this completes the 52-week savings challenge. Let's move on to Foxy's 5K. I'm back and I'm ready to close out the Foxy's 5K challenge. This is the challenge where... At the end of the challenge, I will save $5,000. When I make my last two deposits, I will have saved $5,000 in this challenge. And Foxy's 5K currently should have $4,790. And I'm adding my last two deposits in the amounts of $115 and $95, which should be a total of $210. Here are four $1,000 placeholders to represent the money that's already in the bank. There's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60. Oh, there's another one. 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, four thousand seven hundred and ninety dollars, and I need two hundred and ten. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, and I need to get ten. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I am going to. Take this 10 and replace it with 20, and that should give me an even $5,000 when I count this out. <laughs> Let's get to counting. <sighs> so this is 4,000. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 
20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, five thousand dollars. <laughs> I should have done like Foxy did last year and pulled all the money out of the bank and just waved the stack back and forth, but I wasn't going to be bothered with going inside his bank. Not at this time anyway. Maybe I can do that in 2022. But either way, this represents $5,000 saved in my Foxy's 5K challenge. I want to thank Foxy for putting this together. And I'm so happy to see that she has some new offerings for the upcoming year. I'm looking forward to seeing which ones I'm going to be able to do. But in the meantime, your girl has saved $5,000 and I'm about to jump off screen and do my money dance. I'm going to jump off the screen and do my money dance, do my money dance, do my money dance. I'm going to jump off the screen and do my money dance, do my money dance, do my money dance. Y'all. Okay. I know you all want to know what I was going to do with this money. I talked about having two options. Both options included me paying off my car, which I said was approximately $4,000. It's more like closer to $4,500 because I actually had planned on making my January payment, but I'm going to go ahead and just pay it off now. So doing that and then adding to the emergency fund, I actually think that I need to put less than $525 in my emergency fund to bring it back up to uh, $1,000. So if that's the case, then some of that can go toward the difference between the um, $4,000 and the $4,500. And so then what I wanted to do was put the remainder in my appliance sinking fund, or this is where um, the options vary. Buy myself a new computer because my other computer is 10 years old, then put the remainder in my appliance sinking fund. So what did I do? What did I do? I went with option number two. I really needed that computer. I rely on my personal computer to do a lot of things. And I have some upcoming projects where it, I need it. And the software that I need to add to the computer is not even compatible with my current computer. So I got myself a new MacBook Pro, really happy. And I still plan to pay off my car for a little over 4,000. I think it's um, like 4,500, maybe a little bit less than that. And I'm going to get the sinking fund caught up for whatever that amount is, a um, little bit less than 525. And then whatever is left, I'm going to put that in my appliance sinking fund. So I'll come back and I'll do a recap with the actual totals of everything where all of the um, money went. It's a total of $7,756. Now I want to say a big, big thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has come and watched my videos over the past year. This is my first year doing this, and I was very apprehensive at first. I really have to thank Foxy for encouraging me and really pushing me to go ahead and make videos and start to uh, do these challenges and save money online. This has been really, really therapeutic for me for this past year. Uh, I needed this. I really, really needed this. I needed something that... Um, would enable me to connect more with my money, to um, develop a better relationship with my money, and also to develop better saving habits. I have to say, I really do think that I strengthened my saving muscle over this past year. As I said, when I first started out doing my videos, I was already a saver, but I was not a consistent saver. And I also was a saver who would go back and dip into her savings. Doing these savings challenges and these sinking funds 
has allowed me to save money and specifically earmark and really designate my money for specific purposes and goals. And I'm so happy to look back and see that I accomplished what I set out to do at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to continue this and go forward. It can only get better as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to be doing a savings challenge. I'm going to be hosting my own savings challenge for 2022. So look to the description box for all the details on this challenge. And I invite everybody who's watching to do the challenge with me. And I really hope that some of you will join me. So I'm going to sign off now with what I usually say and wish you all prosperous and abundant living. Take care.